So we're down here in the garden again. Here is the onions. And we're going to be digging up this clump right here for the farmer's market tomorrow. Uh, at most of the grass out of there. I didn't pull all of it. I didn't really even concentrate on this bed. But anyway, check out these cucumbers. These suckers are taking off. And, and I like this. So they all have like little vines attaching and securing them. And so um, it looks like we're going to hopefully have cucumbers we have cucumbers plant so we should have cucumbers yay um these are some tomatoes now yesterday i found some rogue tomato plants and i just kind of planted them there's one there one there one there and one little one right here um i found them in some stuff that i had thrown aside so if they're struggling to make it i'm going to put them up here now, i haven't watered this morning um, but as you can tell, the dew is pretty thick. Look at these strawberries. I'm very proud of these. We have flowers coming up, flowers coming everywhere. Um, now the truth is, is, is this little container of strawberries going to provide us with a ton of strawberries, make strawberry jam and all that? No. But you know what? If I get one serving for RJ off of it, it's worth it. So, just saying. Um, he loves strawberries, and he has never had fresh, fresh strawberries from the garden because the goats keep eating them. Now, I did concentrate on this bed. If you saw it last week, it was covered in grass. And we still have a couple of pieces that just keep popping up. And I think it's just because I don't get all of it when I'm out here. Um, so, and I have been ripping it up by the roots. So, um, I've been pulling all this Johnson grass out. You can see it over here and I ran it over with the lawnmower. So, yeah. Um, our little plants down here that my husband ran over with the uh, brush hog, I don't know. I'm not sure that they're even there, to be honest with you. Those probably are weeds. The more I look at them, the more I think, those are weeds. But I'm not going to say for sure. Okay. Then our little sage plant is keeping, holding its own, I guess you'd say. Um, peach tree here is loaded and I am super excited about that. If we can just get some for peach cobbler or peach pie, I will be happy, happy. Um, the apple tree is, and I'm going to say this lovingly, it has over doubled its harvest from last year. So, hey, I know we only got like 15 apples last year, but I am pretty sure we're looking at more than that because they're all over up in there. So, um... And we had killer storms. The blackberries. I came through here and started to weed them yesterday and I didn't get it done. We have some here. Um, there's some vines on the outside out there. And those are the, the ones with the thorns. Yeah. So we'll have thorn and thornless mixed together. What the heck. So I am protecting these so at least they get. And I'm going to add. Ooh, I walked into a spider web. Ah. I am going to try and get some more um, thornless blackberry bushes out here, and we'll go from there. But this one is going crazy, and it's a, it's got thorns, you know. It is what it is. So, um, and then there's another one. I thought we had found another one. Yeah, right here. So, and it, I don't know, it, it does have thorns, I think. But anyway, so there's some more down here. Just all along here, blackberries, I'm okay with that. And if we end up with some thornless, that would be amazing too. Um, now, this is as far as I got mowed. Here's the thing, is last week, uh, last week, sorry, had a tick. Um, I only got this part mowed right here. You can see, and I put the lawnmower out there, I mowed, I mow this, I push mow this by hand. Okay, my husband won't fix my riding one more. So I push mow this so that everything that needs sunlight can get it. Um, yeah, last week I did not get this um, back part back here mowed. And as you can tell, it's pretty tall. I'm going to be working on it a little at a time so um, that I can get it back under control. This is one week not being mowed. 
whereas this is maintained every week. So um, today is the day I actually would go back and mow, so this is an extra week's growth and that's it. Because of all the rain, this stuff is crazy, crazy. All right, um, let's come up here to my dragon's eggs cucumbers. And I have put these little things around them to protect them. And I think it's working. Uh, everything seems to be going really good. The cats have stayed out of it. They're still making spots, peeing and pooing up here. Um, RJ's seen them, and he goes, Mom, I really didn't think that, that was ever going to be a problem. But anyway, we have, these are loofah gourds, okay? And there's some loofah gourds down through here. So this side of the trellis is loofah gourds. That side of the trellis is dragon's eggs and cucumbers. I'm starting to worry. I've never had this from before. Starting to worry that um, I don't have enough trellis. I, I, I don't know. Um, the gourds should climb up. And so should the cucumbers. But now my cucumbers are actually doing good. I thought I'd have maybe one or two plants. I'm not, you know, real great at this. So now I've got all of these and I'm starting to wonder. So what I think I'm going to do is go look for another panel like this, just something small, and put it on the outside of this. Now there's one watermelon plant right here that we have managed to save. <laughs> one little watermelon. The rest of these are loofah gourds. So I figure if I put another one of these on this outside, and let these guys climb up it and literally I'm gonna have to train them but I think I can do it I really do so um, I don't know it, comment below and just tell me if I need to put in another trellis or no I really I don't know because this little guy right here is hanging on this guy that this is actually two I mean, I thought I'd have maybe one or two plants, okay? And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six that are the dragon's eggs cucumbers. And then I've got one, two, three, four that are the loofahs. And they are gourds, so they're going to climb and they're going to do like um, the bird feeder gourds did last year. And I did train the bird feeder gourds on that trellis down there. So... I kind of know what I'm in for, but I just need to get, I need to figure out if there's enough trellis or not. So that's our big question for today. Post down below if there's enough trellis or if there is not, and let me know. Um, our two mystery things here that don't look like anything. I want to say they're, they're going to be some kind of squash or eggplant, but they're going, they are actually growing really well. And I have put this around to keep the animals from digging them up. This out here is just, like I said, cat, cats from far and wide seem to be coming to use that as a, uh, what do you call it, cat box. So, I had one little um, watermelon holding on, he's holding on, his stock is firm, he's, yeah, the others I can't even find, so... I'm not sure what this is. I think this is a weed. I think these, this and that. And I think they're, so, yeah. I think we're pretty much, this is weeds. Um, I'm going to do the solar thing next year. I have my tarp here. This will be fenced off. The cats won't be able to get in there. I know it's not a big garden, but for, you know, just me, because Lee refused to eat anything that we grow. He's just, I don't know, he won't drink the goat's milk, he won't eat the cheese. He has yet to eat anything that I have grown out of the garden. Um, so, if, if it's just me, RJ doesn't even really care for vegetables. He's promised me he will try all of them, but we'll see. Um, I think it's big enough just for me. Just saying. Okay, so, down here is my herb garden. Yeah, I just have to laugh because this is fennel. And once again, you notice a cat print here. This is not fennel. I don't know what that is. We reused some soil. And I'm going to say that, that is something that is planted really deep. Um, this is supposed to be thyme. And I do have a couple of thyme coming in. You can tell by the flat leaves. 
And there's some underneath there, but I don't know what that is. That could be any kind of squash, beans. It was um, seeds that I tried to start last year and it was in good potting soil and I didn't want to waste the potting soil and since nothing had germinated, I had decided that I would just put it on top of this and, and get these good start, good soil. Yeah, and this is rosemary. I don't think there is any rosemary in here, to be honest with you. I have yet, oh, there might be one. But I have all these wonderful, I don't know, plants. <laughs> There's even a new one coming in and another new one coming in. I don't know what they are. So we're just going to let them vine out, take over, and see what we get. Whatever I get, I get. Um, this right here, we had tilled and planted. I know it doesn't look like anything, does it? We had tilled the whole square here. And um, we had planted garlic. No, I'm sorry. We planted chives and garlic chives. And, well, there's a bunch of new growth in there. So I don't want to say that we don't have any chives or garlic chives in there. All I can say is I don't know what is and what isn't. So we're just going to mow around it, see what comes up. I'm going to go through and pull out these big things like this. Um, things that I know are not um, either garlic or, or, yeah, chives or garlic chives. And then we'll go from there. So I'm going to pull these out, but other than that, we'll just wait and see. And again, I'm going to try and get back on track. It takes me two days to mow this because I don't have time just to come out here and spend six hours mowing it because I also have the front of the house to mow. So um, it's probably going to take me longer. I figure if I can spend today and just get another section of the trees done and get it a quarter <coughs> back under control, then we should be able to go from there. Um, for those who are following along with um, Lee and his medication issues, um, the thought has crossed my mind about putting out a little tiny house out here, getting rid of that brush pile right there, and I would have sheep to one side, I'd have my own space away from all of his drama, um, I'd have my garden, I'd still have everything that I need without anything that I don't, if that makes any sense. Um, I own some solar panels, and I could put them up there and have just enough to do the laptop and such. So it would not take much effort for me to come out here and build a pole barn style uh, tiny house, as they call them. Um, and I would be perfectly happy with that. I would put in a wood burning stove. Um, yeah. Uh, it wouldn't take much to heat. I wouldn't need much electric. And as far as water, <coughs> we all know this floods, first off. And secondly, um, the uh, well house is right there. And there is an underground well. And all I've got to do is put a pump out here and tap it like a little hand pump. And I'd have water. So, it's not that hard to do. And I'm honestly contemplating it. Because even if Lee and I can sort things out and he gets his medication under control we could have woofers out here we could have visitors we could have guests that want to stay in a tiny house um it is what it is so um yeah we'll see i don't know where it's gonna go but um things just get rough oh i forgot the spinach sorry you had to listen to that gripe and then all of a sudden spinach ah! okay climbing spinach Look at this. It is starting to climb now. It's not on the trellis yet, but it's getting tall enough. I've got to go through here and finish weeding. I was just out here yesterday working. Look at this. Look, look, look. And I know I have bug holes, but hey, I'll take it with bug holes. But I am going to till, not till, I am going to weed all of this out because I have some smaller plants here. See them? And they're just starving for sunshine. So... I'm going to make sure that they get done, and i got to weed eat around that. But I'm always scared I'm going to kill them when I weed eat. And see, this is part of my problem, too. <laughs> right on top of the spinach, of course. So, anyway, 
I am going to work on this. I gotta tie those. The cats keep breaking those strings. I may have to just bring out a new string. But anyway. Alright, that is today's update. And I will go post this. It will be posted Wednesday. There's chicken, cat, sheep out there. The chicken coop that needs to be rebuilt because of feral cats and snakes. But anyway. Alright, I will see you in the next video.